Hello everyone, this is Siddiqui Rahman and welcome to the second continuation of the first lecture of the third week. So let's start. By the end of this lecture, you guys will be able to describe about NORGET, X NORGET, NORGET along with the symbols as well as truth tables. So let's start with the outline. This slide represents the overall scenario of this lecture and you guys will learn from this lecture uh, some of the familiar gates such as nor get, x nor get and not get and along, along with this you guys will know the symbols, truth table and applications. So let's start with the overview of not get. The NOR gate is a digital logic gate with n inputs and one output that performs the operation of the OR gate followed by the NOT gate. NOR gate is designed by combining the OR and NOT gate. When any one of the inputs of the NOR gate is true, which means one, or you can say equivalent to equivalent equivalent to high. Uh, then the output of NOR gate will be false, which means zero. And figure one represents the symbols of NOR gate. And you can see there are two symbols of NOR gate. One is traditional and another one is IEC symbol. From this slide, you may learn the truth table of NOR gate. And you may notice that from the table, uh, there, uh, this NOR gate has two inputs. One is symbolized by English alphabet A and another one is symbolized by English alphabet B and the output is symbolized by Q. Well, uh, for the inputs, uh, we may assign two binary values. One is zero and another one is one. Uh, for the for these two for these two binary values. Uh, we get the combination of four such as 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and we get the output from this gate is like a or b bar or you can say the boolean expression of the output of nor gate is a or b bar so let's start with the to uh, input section if the inputs are both zero then we get in the output section is one if the both inputs are one and one then we are we will get zero so let's move into the next slide from this slide we may learn some of the application of nor get such as NOR gates are used in cell phones, calculators, computing, STB, digital logic circuits, LCD TV, decision making circuit like miser tanks in the factory and industrial controllers. This slide represents an overview of X NOR gate. So let's start with the overview. The exclusive NOR gate is a digital logic gate with two inputs and one output the short form of this gate is x nor it performs based on the operation of nor gate when both of the inputs of this gate are high then the output of the x nor gate will be high which means one but if any of the inputs is high but not both then the output will be low and figure 2 represents the symbol of x nor gate and there are two symbols for this gate one is traditional as well as another one is uh, IEC symbol and from this slide you may learn the truth table of x nor gate and it is noticed that uh, this gate already uh, sorry I repeat again uh, it is noticed that this gate has two inputs which is uh, symbolized by capit English alphabet A and another one is English alphabet B and the output is symbolized by Q. Well, uh, if you uh, see uh, in the uh, output section then you get an idea of the boolean expression of the output of XNOR gate which is 
uh, a x not b uh, this operator is not familiar to us that's why uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, the simplification of this uh, expression is written uh, is below the uh, below the main output line so and uh, another thing you need to uh, learn from this uh, tooth table that uh, since this gate has two inputs and we need to assign two binary values for these two inputs one is zero and another one is one and if we combine these binary numbers then we will get four combination of these numbers one is zero zero another one is zero one another one is one zero and the last one is one one and if we if the both inputs of this gate is 0 0 in that case we can we can get 1 in the output section and if we if one of the input is 1 and the another one in and, and the another input is another one input is 0 then we will get 0 well uh, there are several applications of XNOR gate such as it is used in error detection sorry i repeat again it is used in error detecting circuits to detect odd or even parity bits in digital transmission circuits also used in encryption and arithmetic circuits as a combination of xnor and xor circuit for low power consumption next one also used in security or quantity measuring circuits such as in heat exchanger tank to ring the alarm when the heat or temperature goes up or down and last one is in calculators computers and digital logic circuits now come to the last familiar gate which is known as not gate and which is also known as inverter gate or which is also known as inverter not inverter gate only inverter well <coughs> the not gate is a digital logic gate <coughs> sorry uh, with one input and one output that operates an inverter operation of the input the output of the not gate is the reverse of the input when the input of the not gate is true which means one then the output will be false means zero and vice versa and figure three represent the symbol of not gate and uh, this gate has also two symbols one is traditional symbol and another one is iec symbol uh, from this slide we may learn the tooth table of a not gate and we already know that it this gate has one input and also one output uh, one input is symbolized by the capital letter or you can say the, cap the English alphabet and also capital letter A and the output is the symbolized by Q and since the uh, this gate has only one input that's why we can assign just one number uh, one binary number uh, either 0 or 1 if the input value is 0 in that case we get in the output section is 1 and if the input the, the value of input is 1 in that case we get the value uh, is 0 in the output section well and uh, the output expression or you can say the boolean expression of the output of not gets is read as just not a or you can say a bar so like other gates not get has some applications such as they are widely used in digital electronic circuits due to low power consumption next one cmos inverters are used in oscillators sine to square wave converters as square wave clock signals because they can be easily interacted then other logic circuits last one it is also used in calculators computers and common digital logic circuits in the next lecture you guys will know about universal gate so that's all for this lecture and thank you so much for your attention see you guys in the next lecture thank you